<laughs> so today is kind of chilly and rainy, so I don't know what happened there. Canadian weather is something else, but we're off to Best Buy. Caden is home from school and he's being not so good. But we are off to Best Buy because that speaker that I got hasn't been working for like over a week and it's annoying. So we're gonna go and see if we can return it or get it fixed. Shush for a second. Can you, can you, shh, quiet. I, uh, no, 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 stop, stop, stop it, stop, stop. This little monkey's eating her breakfast, actually eating food. She had half a banana, which she already ate. She has some cheese slices. I made her some. It's kind of like grilled cheese, except for it's not grilled. I just put bread and cheese and melted the cheese, so it's like melted cheese. Um, some Cheerios, and then I gave her some cucumber. And I was for sure that she would not like it, and she loves it. She actually keeps picking it up, and she's been chewing on it, taking bites out of it, and she likes it, which is a huge surprise. And she hasn't choked once. Okay. Is it good? <coughs> yeah, you like it? doing so so good don't mind my hair I have not done it yet I will do it right after she's done eating I can't go upstairs and do it while she's eating or she might choke or something so don't mind my appearance in this clip but I am so proud of her because if you didn't know I took her off formula at 12 months which is what most people do and what I did with Kaden but she just wasn't eating i couldn't get her to eat very much the only thing i can get her to eat is cheese and grains and banana but she would choke on everything and she just that was the only items that she would ever eat like she wouldn't eat anything else so i kept giving her purees pouches and stuff which she would eat but she was eating so much of it that she kept having diarrhea and every single diaper change and it she would just have like a little bit at a time so I wouldn't really know that she pooped and then I'd go to change her and then she'd have a huge rash and the rash was like getting so bad that it started bleeding and I couldn't get it to go away because she just kept pooping so I just made the decision to put her back onto formula but instead of the like normal formula that she was on before I put her on the number two I could have put her on number three, but she wasn't eating enough actual food So I stuck with number two So, so she's been on formula this whole time for her like main food source Which is fine because I mean it does have everything she needs and she does snack on a lot of food But it's just like Cheerios and like puffs and bread So yeah Little monkey, I'm so proud of you. She's actually eating a sandwich and she was eating cucumber, which I for sure thought she was gonna hate. And she actually really likes it, which I'm still in shock because I don't even like cucumber. I think now we can finally get off of formula if she keeps eating like this and keeps trying new things. Cause that was the big thing. Like she wouldn't try anything. She just wouldn't try anything, but she's actually, she picked, she saw it. She never had cucumber before. She's like, she had all the stuff on her plate and she went straight for the cucumber, tried it. She made a weird face, but then she's like, yeah, you know what? I like this and just keeps eating it, so.
just went to the park as you saw, and now we're gonna go to Walmart, even though we were just there. I have no words for that kid, no words. Hey guys, so today we are just waiting for my mom to come over and hang out. She worked yesterday, so we didn't get to see her. So hopefully she comes here soon. The kids are outside playing with chalk, and well, Aria is just sitting there because she would of course eat the chalk. But I did want to say that not last night, but the night before, Aria fell and she whacked her lip off of the coffee table. And there was blood everywhere, so if you see her later in the vlog and she's got like a big bruise and a cut, uh, that's what happened. Um, it definitely looks way better than I thought it was going to look, so that's good. The cut isn't too big. Um, and it's just a little bit bruised on her lip but it definitely is a lot better than I thought it was gonna be because there was a lot of blood and there's even like a washcloth out here that I still haven't cleaned yet that's like covered in blood but which isn't this isn't like a lot of blood because this is like the second washcloth that I used and then I like washed it and then got all the blood out and then did it again and then Dan's shirt was covered in blood, but she's fine. She's she's fine. Like accidents happen and it still happened even though we were in the room watching her. Like I actually like saw it happen and I was like really scared, but she's okay. It doesn't even bother her at all. She still drinks her bottles, she still eats, she still she's like her normal self. Hopefully it heals up soon because it's not very pretty. But she's okay, I just wanted to let you guys know that's what happened so you wouldn't have all these comments asking what happened to her face. Um, that's what happened. <laughs>